Kia ora everyone, welcome, I'm Helena Davis and this is your health tip of the week. Today I share with you a personal story to help inspire you and give you some tools to help you all out. Stay tuned. Have you noticed that when you're emotionally drained for whatever reason, you feel tired, heavy, and mentally exhausted. I recently went through a huge emotional roller coaster ride, and yep, I felt all of the above. I was exhausted. You know, sometimes you don't realize how things are affecting you until you process the emotions and the stress isn't there anymore. It's like when we go away on holidays and you're like, huh, oh, I feel great. Wow, I was really stressed out before. For me, I realized when I got a couple of cold sores and a mouth ulcer that this was really affecting my body on more than just my emotional side. Once I tuned into this, I realized I had to let this burden go at a really deep level so that I could move on physically, mentally, and emotionally. One of the most powerful ways I've found of doing this is writing a letter by hand to the person or situation involved. I sat in bed, I wrote my letter by hand, I read my letter over and over again, feeling the intensity and the deep sadness of what had happened to me. I bawled my eyes out and eventually went to sleep. You have to feel your emotions to heal your emotions so that you can digest them and move on. Even though this was a really low point in my life, I had a knowing that I had to do this and express myself in this way so that I could move on. I can tell you that within five days, I felt so light walking into clinic. It was incredible. I felt great. There was a massive weight that had been lifted off my shoulders. I felt light. I felt the best I had in months. Are you carrying a burden or a past hurt that you would like to make peace with? I encourage you to write a letter just for yourself to help get it out of your head and on to paper. This will help to provide you with clarity and digest any emotions you may have. Ka kite ano everyone. Thanks for listening. This is Helena Davis and that is your health tip of the week.